Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog and a particular welcome to Sir Barney the Third, who's an avid viewer um, apparently so uh, I say hello to him. Now today what I'm going to do is to make a salad uh, so there's no baking involved no cooking involved at all but this is going to be a Mediterranean chickpea salad. I'm not entirely sure that Sir Barney would enjoy it but who knows. So uh, for this you can use really any combination of uh, Mediterranean vegetables and herbs that you care to um, and then uh, you mix it all together with a dressing that you can make but the, the, the main ingredient should be the chickpeas. So I'll go on to the ingredients and I've prepared all my ingredients already and it's only taken me about 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes in fact. And for this I have two uh, 400 gram cans of chickpeas or garbanzo beans which I have drained and then I have rinsed them and drained them again. Um, and that works out at about uh, 28 ounces uh, before they've been drained. So, but how many you use is entirely up to you, of course. I have about 150 grams, uh, which is four and a half ounces, of black olives, which I've chopped in half. They've been pitted, obviously, I've chopped those in half. I have some spring onions or scallions, depending on what you like to call them. And um, I took uh, eight spring onions, uh, washed them, cleaned them, and uh, chopped them up. Then I have one whole cucumber, sometimes known as English cucumber. That's the type of cucumber that has uh, only the small seeds uh, in the middle. And I've cut that into uh, four wedge shapes, and then I've cut the wedge shapes into little chunks, as you can see. Uh, so that's one whole cucumber. I have two roasted red peppers which were in um, olive oil and I've uh, drained the oil and patted them dry and I've chopped those up. Then one fresh pepper and that's an orange one which I've chopped up. And then I have a, a mixture of uh, small tomatoes, so cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, mini San Marzano tomatoes of different colours and sizes um, and that's probably about 250-300 grams of tomatoes there and I've, I've uh, chopped those up and I, keep, I should keep saying how much of anything you use is entirely up to you. I have a, a bunch of flat leaf parsley which I have chopped into uh, quite finely and I have uh, some mint which I have chopped quite finely and that works out at about a tablespoon of mint probably three to four tablespoons of the chopped parsley and then I also have here 150 grams of uh, feta cheese you could use other cheese you don't have to use the cheese at all but feta cheese which I will crumble over the top so uh, and then some salt and some pepper to go into that mixture as well and then for the dressing I have 60 millilitres of olive oil, that's a quarter of a cup. And then I have 30 millilitres, two tablespoons, of this white condiment which is similar to a balsamic vinegar. Um, now uh, that can be difficult to get and you don't actually need it. You can use whatever you want. You could use red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar or distilled vinegar, but two tablespoons of that, another two tablespoons of lemon juice, um, about two teaspoons of minced garlic and uh, one teaspoon of dried oregano. And what I've done is I've measured out my one gram, which is a teaspoon, then I use my fingers to rub, I rubbed it between my fingers to break it down into smaller pieces. So that's everything and I'm going to start off by making the dressing basically and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
my liquids that's the lemon juice the white condiment and the oil into a container you can put it into a jug and whisk it but I'm going to put it into a container and shake it I'm going to add in my oregano and then I'm going to add in my garlic as well I'm just going to stir it a bit to break up the garlic just a little bit I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and then I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to shake that just like that until I have my dressing and I will shake it again before I put it onto my salad so then we'll go on to make the salad and that's very easy as well because we simply take a large bowl and we put everything in so we put our beans in the cucumber peppers and tomatoes the spring onions the olives the parsley and the mint and then I'm just going to use my hand to toss that around like that and that's good and then I'm going to sprinkle over just a little bit of salt doesn't need a lot and some pepper and then I'm going to just mix that in put my dressing on again mix it to combine it and then I take the cheese and I'm just going to crumble the cheese on the top like that Now at this stage I won't crumble any more cheese because I want to do that for presentation for when it's eaten. So basically that is the salad um, mixed. Now I'll have a little taste but um, I'm not going to taste everything. I'm just going to pick up whatever comes on my fork. So I can taste the, um, the acidity of the dressing and I can taste mint and a little bit of parsley actually as well as the cucumber and the pepper that I had on my fork. So um, I'll just have a little taste of the feta. That's going to go well with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve this for my dinner with a couple of hard boiled eggs. But you could use uh, some meat, you could use cold meat, you could use hot meat. I, uh, I've seen suggestions of using uh, lamb, for instance, uh, for people who like lamb, but you can use anything you want to serve this with. Um, 
sausages, you know, whatever you want basically. This is just the salad that accompanies something else. Or you can have it just as a main course by itself with some, um, maybe on with some garlic bread or something like that. So a very simple recipe, which uh, Sabani the third is probably slavering over as we speak. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.